Hello, everybody. We are here today in Renton, Washington at DJ's Sports Cards. I'm not in this area of the state very often with both a little disposable money and disposable time. So I figured I would take advantage, had to drive my son to the airport. Not much going on uh, back home right now. So swinging here on a Saturday, day, just waiting um, about another half hour before DJ's opens up. I'll see what I can do about giving like a, a tour. Um, DJ is very friendly from my past experiences and I'm sure he won't mind, but sometimes I get bashful once I get I get in there so I don't know what to expect. But at the very least, we'll come back and do a recap. Um, I'm just realizing how, realizing how dirty my windows are. I'm not too worried about it. I think I'll use my extra time here to uh, put together a couple VRs. So you'll see my filthy windows again. And I wanted to thank everybody who was able to join me live last night. And it looks like that video uh, of the live is uh, the live reaction to the Mariners making the playoffs is getting quite a bit of traction. And uh, I think a lot of people would probably not want that footage of them crying like that on the internet, on YouTube. And I had maybe like a 30 second window where I thought about removing it. But when you click on my videos, you get me. This is that's who I am. That was as real a reaction as I can I can give. And that was the point of, of the live. And it just worked out. It happened to be a very dramatic moment. I didn't have to wait for extra innings and only for a loss or whatever. And we're, we're just going to go with it. That's me. That's who you saw. That's who I am. And um, if you don't like to see a grown man cry, don't watch my videos. It's, it makes me who I am. Anyway, yeah, let's see what kind of footage we can get. And like I said, I'll, uh, I'm will i going to use my extra half hour here to get a couple VRs out, which I'll trickle out over the next week or so. So uh, that being said, we'll see you inside. So this place has changed quite a bit since I was last in here like four years ago. It's basically three times the size now. And I don't know where to even start or what to show you. Um, I think I might go around and just do a couple clips of things without commentary. Because there's just a lot of stuff here. Right over there, kind of in the middle of the screen, there's a cool Lego table. So I'll probably start there. Okay, so I played with Legos for about 45 minutes. Now on to sports cards after some pinball got some assorted posters and whatnot I like this one still the last perfect game in baseball by the way Jamie Moyer anybody what do we got here stuff kind of a junk wax area here More of the junk wax table the other side. On this table, Elvis. I'm not sure if Doug made it down here when he was visiting, but this whole case, this whole case is mini Lego figurines. Check it. Smaller sets, non-sports. DJ's telling somebody on the phone you can't just look at listed prices on eBay and that's what your stuff is worth. Mugs, photo balls, plates, assorted tchotchkes, other small sets. Uh, I would say a few bobbleheads. I mean a few hundred, rather. 
some balls and some more starting lineup stuff. Mini helmets. Right next to that, wrestling figures. Some Hot Wheels starting lineup. Okay, we finally got to the card cases. Hopefully the color's not too bad. Still looking for that vintage baseball case. Mwah. Some cool modern in here. He prices stuff to sell instead of to sit on, which I appreciate. Come up on a Russell Wilson PSA 10 rookie. Eighties baby. This is a cool spinning case. Uh, there's a couple things in here that I might go home with. Vintage. Oh, hi Warren. Hi Ernie. Summertime, I'm out. Hi Al. I should be back in my pretty Back to modern Mariner stuff. Julio, Julio's coming back on Monday. Lots of modern football. This is cool. This whole countertop is set up with binders like this. Whole countertop. Hey, mail's here. On this countertop, baseball. Which is where I'll be. I found the cool baseball stuff. Cool. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Is that what you know from them? Was a family time? Yeah. Um, their family actually likes to play darts and stuff. That's right. With uh, his, his darts with uh, his um, sister and his brother-in-law. Vintage. Yeah. I didn't come super rich, but I am leaving broke, that's for sure. Yes. A little vintage football here. Okay, I'm going to take a break because I need to actually start shopping for myself instead of showing you all what's here. It went along. Okay, back in the car. I took what video I could. I hope I got enough. I could have spent quite a bit longer doing that. But at some point I realized I need to shop. I got money to spend. And I did just that. I won't bother showing you the supplies. But here's the treasures. I did get uh, a free 
box of TTM material, 2,000 count box, uh, mostly 80s football and baseball, totally free. Grab it off the sidewalk, and uh, cool, free is good. So here's my uh, pickups here. I got a Ron Santo rookie with a crease, 15 bucks. Pretty much what shipping would be if I bought it online. Uh, I always wanted a 53 Bowman color, just didn't have one yet. And I went with one I can add to my Washington State, players from Washington State collection. This is Jerry Staley, who was born um, down near Vancouver, southern border. Uh, 55 Bow Bowman, excuse me, Hoyt Wilhelm. Card I didn't have for the Hoyt Wilhelm collection. And I had to go with one modern card just so I could say that I did. And being that I'm in the area that this company existed, got a Pacific with some nice shine, Randy Johnson. One more thing. This was sort of the main pickup, although I like all my cards. This is one of those oversized turkey reds. Uh, it's Duke Snyder. There it is. And um, I don't know what year they released these. Uh, obviously, Perez Steel, uh, a lot of people would know. But um, I know there's quite a few players in this set. There's a checklist here on the back behind the, behind the JSA. But each one's numbered to 5,000. And I've seen these, and I thought, you know, perhaps I could get this somewhere else. You know, off eBay for less than 40. And by the time you ship and tax and all that... Um, would I? Probably not. And here I am here now with the money. Get it when you can. So real happy to get that Duke Snyder Hall of Fame oversized Perez Steel Turkey Red card. Very cool. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope you like. If you're ever in the greater Seattle area, highly recommend DJ Sports Card. I asked him if I could uh, take video when I went in for my YouTube channel. He said, well, as long as you say good things absolutely absolutely there's something for everybody um, if you just have a couple bucks you could spend it there come out with some nice stuff and if you have you know if you're a big time spender wanting some super nice vintage or high-end stuff you could also find it there too so that's it for now until next time remember we don't count subscribers we count friends